Hey guys, what is up? It's your girl D Queen here and I'm back with another quick tips video. Today's video was actually a video inspired by a comment that I got from somebody called Brilliant. How to do your table of contents in Microsoft Word with NVDA. So let's get right into it. But before we do, be sure to like the video if you love the content, subscribe if you're new and share it with your friends. Also, now you see that when you leave comments down below, I respond to them. So leave your comment down below if you have any video suggestions please be sure to leave them down below also note that the instrumentals for this video have been provided by inner sanctum entertainment ltd but without further ado let's get right into it first let me open a test document that i have here test document dot docs dash test document dot docs dash word microsoft word doc who is the quinn Okay, so right here, what I have is a sample document. I have a document speaking about myself. So first, I have a major heading saying who is the queen, a second major heading saying what else do I do. Then I have three subheadings under that one going into detail about some of the different skills that I have. Then I have a last major heading called conclusion. Now here's the quick way you would go about making your table of contents. In Microsoft Word, this is how it works. You can insert an automatic table of contents which works with the heading levels that you have set. If you listened to a previous video that I did, you would remember that I showed you how to set your different heading levels. You would go up into your home tab, then tap down to the paragraph grouping and go to styles and then you choose the heading level that you want by using your arrow keys to go through that menu or there's a quick keystroke. So let me go to my first heading here. Who is the Quinn? So I would put my marker at the start of this line. Cap W. Then remember that this heading would be a heading level one. So this would be the keystroke to create a heading level one. Control plus Alt plus one. Heading one style, outline level one. There we go. Now if I should up arrow, it would read. Heading level one, who is the Quinn? All right, and now let me down arrow to the next one that I want to set to heading level one and do the same. I am video make blank. What else do I do? All right, so I'll put my marker at the start. Cap W. Then do control alt one. Heading one style, outline level one. Now I will go down to the subheadings. Well, good with further blank. Audio editing. All right, so now because this is a subheading, I wouldn't want it to be on the same level as the major heading. So therefore, I would make it a heading level two. So in this case, I would use Control plus Alt plus two. Cap A. Heading two style. Outline level two. And if I should up arrow and down arrow. Heading level two audio editing. All right. Now let me set the other subheadings. I am in an is much blank data entry. Cap D. Heading two style. Outline level two. I res perf create blank programming. Cap P. Heading two style. Outline level two. Now let me set the last heading level one, which would be the conclusion. I am able blank conclusion. Cap C. But before I do that, let me show you. There's also a keystroke to set your heading level three. That would be your Control plus your Alt plus three. Heading 3 style, outline level 3. But I want my conclusion to be heading level 1, so let me just go back to the start of my line. Cap C. And do control alt 1 instead. Heading 1 style, outline level 1. Awesome! Now that we have our heading set, move your cursor to where you want your table of content to be inserted. Now, in most cases, table of contents are usually at the start of your document. So I'll use control plus home to go to the very start of my document. Heading level one, who is the Quinn? Awesome. Now, press your Alt key to go into the menu. Ribbon tabs tab control expanded. Home tabs. Then right arrow until you get to references. Insert tab, layout tab, references tab selected Alt, S6 of 10. Then tab once and then you would hear table of contents. References grouping. Table of contents grouping. Table of con. Then press enter. Table of contents list. Built dash in grouping. Automatic table one not selected automatic table contents left paren labeled left quote contents right quote right paren that includes all text formatted with the heading one dash three styles one of three. All right. So you hear that well. So this table of content template will automatically title itself content and then it would have the content underneath. So it would lay out everything depending on if it was a heading level one, two or three. And I'll show you that later. Now that was option one of three. If I should down arrow to the next automatic option. 
Automatic table 2 not selected automatic table contents left paren, labeled left quote table of contents right quote right paren, that includes all text formatted with the heading 1-3 styles 2 of 3. Now this is the same thing only that instead of being titled content, this one would be titled table of content. So depending what you want yours to say, you would select one of these automatic ones. And if I should down arrow one more time. Manual table not selected manual table of contents that you can fill out independently of the document content 3 of 3. And this one is a manual table of contents that you could fill out. But this one doesn't make any sense to me. I could have just went and just typed up my own table of contents. I want an automatic one. So I want the one that says table of contents. So I'm going to go back up to option 2. Automatic table 2. Then I'm going to press enter. Test document dot docs dash word. Microsoft Word document edit multi-line heading level 1 page 1 section 1 who is the Quinn. Now you realize I'm still where I left my cursor but if I should do control home. Table of contents. Awesome. Now let's down arrow through my table of contents. Link who is the Quinn. 1. What else do I do? 1. Audio editing 1. Data entry 1. Programming 1. Conclusion 1. Out of link blank. Alright. So you realize that it says link. I will tell you why it says that later on. But you hear the name of the heading and then you hear a number after it. The number after it is actually the number of the page that it is on. But I want to show you one thing before I tell you what is the importance of the link. So let me do control plus home again. Page one, section one, table of contents. Let me switch to my other configuration profile that reads indentations. Vocalizer profile activated. And if you don't know how to create a configuration profile, you can be sure to check out that video that I have as well. The link will be down below in the description. Now let me down arrow. Underlined link who is the Quinn, not underlined underlined one. What else do I do? Not underlined underlined one. Left indent 0.153 inches audio editing not underlined underlined one. You realize that once it gets to the subheadings there is an indentation so for persons who are actually cited that are looking at your document your subheadings would be indented under your major heading so the heading level twos would be indented under the heading level ones and the heading level threes would be indented under your heading level twos to show that there are subheadings let me continue going down data entry not underlined programming not underlined no left indent conclusion not underlined underlined one. So you realize when it gets the conclusion it says no left indent because conclusion goes back to heading level one. So the subheadings are over with. Awesome. Now let me switch out of this vocalizer profile. Vocalizer profile deactivated. Now let me show you why it says link. Let me go back to the top of my document. Out of link table of contents. Now let me go down to one of the contents in the table. Blank. Link who is the Quinn. 1. Now, let me use my right arrow to ensure that I am in the link. H. Then, let me press enter. Heading level 1 out of link. Awesome. And now if I should down arrow? I am spelling error Chenille Lake. You see, I am out of the table of content. And if I should up arrow? Heading level 1 who is the Quinn. So you see, whichever link you click on in the table of content, it will bring you to that heading which is in your document. So you see that the headings within the document are directly linked to those in the table of content. So any one of them that you click on, you would jump directly to it within the document. Now I have one more thing to show you before I end this video. Now what if I wanted to make some sort of changes to my table of content like say for instance what if i removed one of the headings i no longer want that to be a heading let me down arrow to one of my subheadings for instance heading level 2 programming all right so now i'm going to change this heading into a normal paragraph style so i'm going to take it out of heading now here's another keystroke that i'm about to show you go to the starting of your line cap p then press Control plus shift plus n normal style outline level 10 awesome now that's another keystroke learned then if i should up arrow and down arrow blank programming you'd realize that it's no longer a heading now let me go back to my table of contents to see if it's up there table of contents link who is the qu what else do i do audio edit data and programming one 
you see that it is still there but i want my table of contents to be updated so that programming will be removed now how do i do that well it's simple press alt again to go back up into the menu ribbon tabs tab control expanded references tab selected alt s6 of 10 then tab until you hear this option references grouping table of contents grouping table of contents add text collapsed include update table button refresh the table of contents so all entries refer to the correct page number alt s u then press enter update table of contents dialog word is updating the table of contents select one of the following options colon update page numbers only radio button checked alt plus p then i would down arrow through this list to change that option because it's not only the page number that i want to update update entire table radio button checked alt plus e awesome now that is what i want so then i'll tap to ok and press enter ok button test document dot docs dash word microsoft word document edit multi-line page one section one link who is the quinn one awesome now if i should down arrow you'd realize that programming is gone what else do I audio edit data and conclusion and there we go so that is how you would update your table so anything that you change that you want to be updated in the table of contents please remember to go back and press the update button in your menu but that is it guys for how to create a table of contents in microsoft word with nvda hopefully you enjoyed the video and of course brilliant look out for the other suggestion that you had of how to create a bibliography in microsoft word with nvda so i'll be doing that one soon but thanks guys again for watching this video hopefully you liked it hopefully it will make your life much easier be sure to like the video if you love the content share it with your friends subscribe Subscribe if you're new and comment down below any suggestions that you have for me to make videos. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.